my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Samson. Let's read. Samson was born at the time the Israelites were in subjection to the Philistines because they didn't they did evil things in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord delivered them into the hands of Philippines. In those days a man named Mona from the tribal of Dan lived in the town of Zora. His wife was unable, unable to become pregnant, and they had no children. So the Philistines rule over the Israelites because they did bad things and the Lord's eyes. The angel of Lord appeared to Manna and his wife and said, Even start you have been unable to have children. You will soon become prejudiced and gave birth to your son. You must not drink wine or any other utility drink or eat anything, any forbidden food, and his hair must be never be cut, for he will be the side to God as a Nazareth from birth. Receives Israel from the Palestines. So one day God's man, God's angel came and told them, you will have a son, Samson. Samson should never drink wine and cut his hair and never touch that things. It was a promise. Mano's wife gave birth to the to a baby boy a baby a baby boy and named him Samson. And the Lord blessed him. As he grew up, so the they named him Samson. Sam. Son. And the Lord bless him. One day, Samson went down to them together with his father and mother. As they approached the vineyards of Tina, suddenly a young lion attacked Samson. At the moment, the Spirit of the Lord powerfully took control of him, and he ripped the lion's jaws apart with his barred hands, <coughs> he did an easel as if it was a younger goat. So, Samson killed the lion with his hands, only with his hands. Well, God gave the power great power to Samson to protect Israelites from Palestine.
Samson harmed the Philistines and they went up to up and camped in Judah. Spreading out nearly, the man of Judah asked, Why, are who are you? Come to fight us. We have come to take Samson prisoner. The answer, the answer, the three thousand men from Judah went down to the cave in the rock to Adam and said to Samson, Samson, we we have come to tie you up and your hands over over the Palestines. All right, Samson says. So they tied him up with two new ropes. Yes, Samson arrived and Lee, the Palestines came shouting and trampling. But the spirit of the Lord powerfully took control of Samson and he spanded the robes on his arms. They then he picked up the donkey Jobroka that was laying on the ground and killed a thousand Palestines with it. So Samson <coughs> killed the Palestines with the <coughs> bone. Some time later, he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Stor, whose name was Darla. The leaders of Palestine went to her and said, Find out from Samson what make him so strong and how he can be overpowered and tied up secretly. <clears throat> then each of us will give you 1100 pieces of silver. So Darla learned him and found the secret of his great strengths. Darla lured Samson to sleep with his head in her lap, and she shaved off his hair. Then his strength left him. So they promised to never cut his hair, and never cut that things, and never drink wine. He have, he have touched the dead lion, and also ate the honey from what bees have made from the lion, and he told the secret to Daryl. So he didn't promise, paid the promise. But God will take promise. The Palestines captured him and made him blind. They took him to Gaza, where he was born with bronze charnel and made a grain, 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 grain. in the prison, but the hair on his head began to grow af again after it he had been saved.
Palestine's leader held a great festival, offering sacrifice to Parsing their god Dagon. They said, Our god has given us victory over our enemies, enemy Samson. When the people saw him, they praised their god, saying, Your god has devoured or emerged to us. To the one, the one who kills the so animal, and many of us is now in our power. The temple was completely filled with people as the Palestine's leader was there, and there were about three thousand on the roof who were watching Samson and making fun of him. Then Samson prayed to God, Servant Lord, remember me again. O oh God, please strengthen me one more time. Let me die with these Philistines. He prayed, and the temple crashed down on the Philistines' leaders and the people. So he killed more people when he died than he had journeyed. His infinite lifetime. <laughs> Samson didn't keep God's promise, but God kept his. Yes, today we read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time? We'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!